Hi, everybody. This is Richard Sachs. Nice to see you here on YouTube as we were here every week. And, you know, we've been having a problem because we keep recording these shows and it seems like they're with really great people. Um, but it turns out before we're finished recording, I realize that they're just totally evil and they, they say things that, you know, they, they're stressful because we're not supposed to be aware of certain information. And it's really harmful to us to know things that we're not supposed to know. Um, the big, big tech platforms have been helping us understand how that really works. That in the old days when people believed in the Bill of Rights and the Constitution and these, you know, outdated concepts like freedom and um, mutual respect and love for everybody and stuff before they understood that the collective is really where it's at and you should give up all your values to serve the whole, which is up to is defined by the self-proclaimed leader of the collective that we're all here to worship and obey, of course. And we try to find guests that will explain how that works. And one of them that I thought would be great because he talks about collectivism a lot. And I thought, wow, this guy really understands why should we should give up our own freedom and free will and, you know, just serve the rulers with everything we've got and turn in people who don't, of course, even if they're in your own family. And in some jurisdictions, you can actually make a pretty good living by turning in people that are still trying to serve those outdated, you know, beliefs like freedom and free speech and stuff. So I thought Ed Griffin would be great because he knows about collectivism. And before we were done, I realized, no, he's fallen because he still believes in uh, individual freedom and the outdated principles of the Constitution and America being an example for the rest of the world. Stuff that we're, we're trying to wake up and learn that we're all supposed to be the same because equality means that individuality has to be over. And Ed apparently doesn't understand that very well. So uh, we, we fortunately censored that for the platform and for all of your safety. And we relegated it to the, you know, evil link that we always put below to warn you where not to go to see these bad people. And so it's the same honor system as before. We trust that you won't go to that link and look at it. And we'll keep doing our best to find people who understand that real freedom is in giving up your rights. It's a deep concept. And we'll keep trying to find guests that understand that. And if we don't, we'll just have to keep censoring them and uh, tell you where not to see the real version of the show, which is what we're doing now. So uh, I want to thank YouTube for giving us the lead in how to, and Apple too, and how to curate this selection of shows that we give you. As, as Tim Cook told us, from a degree of great wisdom. That's what people really want. They don't want to make up their own decisions and have the freedom to watch and say and think what they choose because what if they make a mistake? You know, what if they didn't read that great article in the New York Times that said critical thinking is like one of the most dangerous things that we could ever do? And the regular people don't have the depth of understanding and they, they try things like critical thinking and watching a lot of videos and stuff, which could be uh, unacceptable, you know, misinformation that could be harmful for the person who reads it. So we're, we're, we're trying to really be a supportive member of the community uh, by having no individuality and nothing of substance. And when we have a guest that doesn't go along with that, uh, unfortunately, we can't get any money for turning them in, but we can at least censor them before broadcast. So beware of the link below because that hasn't been censored. And just be grateful that we're being shown the new version of freedom, which is total uniformity for all. And uh, we're looking forward to complete world peace when there's no more dissent in any, uh, in any subjects that remain. So thanks for your understanding. And I'm trying to live up to your trust and keep us all safe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.